Hello everyone, Josh here with the Digetic Audio Project, and today we are going to talk about the swoosh transition audio effect. They're generally labeled in one of two categories, the more cartoony, like, and the ones that sound a little more like this. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to create the second type on Adobe Audition using generated audio in the Doppler effect. Let's get into this. The first thing we need to do is create a new audio file. We're gonna generate some noise by going to the Effects tab, clicking Generate and Noise. I'm gonna be using brown noise for this particular one, but you can use different types of noise depending on what you're looking for in the end product. So we're gonna go ahead and generate that noise and click OK. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is hit it with a parametric equalizer so that I can shape the sound. Um, you really have to kind of use your imagination to figure out what it's going to sound like in the end. We're gonna apply a high and a low pass filter and use some EQ points to shape the sound. Apply the rack effect and then grab the Doppler effect from the effects tab under special. This is what we're gonna to use to actually create that swoosh sound that makes it sound like something is passing by. By manipulating the starting distance, velocity, approach angle, and distance it passes by, this is how you create the different sounds using the Doppler effect. To create a fast swoosh effect, you want the starting distance to be more than a thousand meters away, and your velocity will determine how fast the swoosh will be. For example, for this one, we're gonna land on a starting distance of 1,000 meters, velocity of 300 meters per second, and passing by of five meters. Apply this effect and amplify, and then I'm gonna add a small amount of studio reverb to it so that it doesn't sound quite so dry. Uh, trim, and your file's pretty much done. Let's try one more, but this time we're gonna use pink noise so you can kind of see how different they're gonna sound. Again, generate noise, but this time we're gonna select pink noise instead of brown noise. Go ahead and click OK and apply a parametric equalizer, high pass, low pass, and shape your sound. Apply the Doppler effect and adjust your settings to the desired sound. For this one, I went with a starting distance of 1,595 meters with a velocity of 195 meters per second, passing by at negative 13 meters. Add reverb to the file so it's not so dry. I decided to add another parametric equalizer because I wasn't completely happy with how the sound turned out. I used this on the high frequency end because it didn't sound like what I was going for. Apply the rack effect and then normalize or amplify. And there you go. This is an easy way to generate some at-home swoosh effects using Adobe Audition. It takes very little amount of time and with a little bit of practice, you can get pretty good. I hope this helps you generate some custom swoosh sound effects. If you're interested in what this channel is about, click here. If you're interested in what the best $100 set of studio monitors is, click here.